The Science of Aging. Latest Breakthroughs in Anti-Aging Research. Welcome to our video on the science of aging and the latest breakthroughs in anti-aging research. In this video, we'll explore what aging is, the factors that contribute to it, and the cutting-edge technologies that are being developed to slow it down or even reverse it. So, let's get started. What is aging? Aging is a natural process that happens to all living organisms. It's the gradual decline of physical and mental functions over time. This decline is due to a variety of factors, including genetics, lifestyle, and environmental factors. But aging is not inevitable, and recent research has shown that it may be possible to slow down or even reverse the aging process. One way that aging affects the body is by causing changes to the skin. As people age, their skin becomes less elastic and more fragile, leading to wrinkles, age spots, and dryness. This is due to a decrease in collagen and elastin production, which are proteins that help keep the skin firm and supple. Aging also affects the bones, causing them to become thinner and weaker. This can lead to osteoporosis, a condition where the bones become brittle and prone to fractures. Muscle mass and strength also decrease with age, which can lead to a loss of mobility and independence. The brain also undergoes changes with age. The volume of the brain decreases, and the connections between neurons become less efficient. This can lead to a decline in cognitive function, including memory, attention, and processing speed. However, research has shown that the brain is capable of creating new connections and even generating new neurons, a process known as neuroplasticity. The immune system also undergoes changes with age, leading to a decline in its ability to fight off infections and diseases. This can lead to an increased risk of illnesses such as pneumonia, influenza, and cancer. Chronic inflammation, which is linked to many age-related diseases, also increases with age. There are also genetic factors that contribute to the aging process. Some people may be predisposed to certain age-related diseases due to their genes. For example, mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes are associated with an increased risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Finally, lifestyle and environmental factors can also contribute to the aging process. Factors such as diet, exercise, stress, and exposure to toxins can all have an impact on how the body ages. By making healthy lifestyle choices and avoiding environmental toxins, it may be possible to slow down the aging process and reduce the risk of age-related diseases. Factors that contribute to aging. One of the biggest factors that contribute to aging is oxidative stress. This is when there's an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in the body, which can cause damage to cells and DNA. Other factors include inflammation, telomere shortening, and the accumulation of senescent cells. Inflammation is another factor that contributes to aging. Chronic inflammation, which is low-grade inflammation that persists over time, can lead to damage to cells and tissues throughout the body. This can contribute to the development of many age-related diseases, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, and neurodegenerative diseases. Telomere shortening is another factor that contributes to aging. Telomeres are protective caps on the ends of chromosomes, and they shorten each time a cell divides. Eventually, the telomeres become too short to provide adequate protection, and the cells stop dividing or die. This can lead to a decline in the body's ability to regenerate tissues and organs, which contributes to the aging process. The accumulation of senescent cells is another factor that contributes to aging. Senescent cells are cells that have stopped dividing but are still active in the body. They can release harmful molecules that contribute to inflammation and damage to nearby cells. The accumulation of senescent cells has been linked to many age-related diseases, including cancer, cardiovascular disease, and neurodegenerative diseases. Another factor that contributes to aging is glycation. Glycation is a process where sugars in the bloodstream attach to proteins, forming harmful compounds called advanced glycation end products, ages. These ages can contribute to inflammation, damage to tissues, and accelerated aging. Finally, lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise can also contribute to the aging process. A diet high in processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats can contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress, accelerating the aging process. On the other hand, a diet rich in whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats can help slow down the aging process. Regular exercise has also been shown to have anti-aging effects. Exercise helps improve cardiovascular health, increase muscle mass and strength, and improve cognitive function. It can also help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, which contribute to the aging process. In conclusion, 
The factors that contribute to aging are complex and multifactorial. Understanding these factors can help us make informed decisions about our lifestyle choices and health, and may help us slow down the aging process and reduce the risk of age-related diseases. Latest Breakthroughs in Anti-Aging Research Now, let's talk about the latest breakthroughs in anti-aging research. One of the most promising technologies is gene editing. Scientists are exploring the possibility of using gene editing to reverse the effects of aging by targeting the genes that are responsible for aging. Another technology is senolytics, which involves targeting and eliminating senescent cells in the body. This could potentially slow down or even reverse the aging process. Another area of research is in the field of stem cells. Stem cells have the ability to differentiate into different types of cells, and scientists are exploring how they can be used to regenerate tissues and organs that have been damaged by aging. This has the potential to treat a wide range of age-related diseases, including cardiovascular disease and neurodegenerative diseases. In addition to stem cells, researchers are also exploring the use of growth factors to stimulate tissue regeneration. Growth factors are molecules that help regulate cell growth and division, and they could potentially be used to promote tissue regeneration and repair. Another area of research is in the field of caloric restriction. Studies have shown that reducing caloric intake can extend lifespan and delay the onset of age-related diseases. Researchers are now exploring how caloric restriction works at the cellular level, and how it can be used to slow down the aging process. One promising area of research is in the field of telomere extension. Telomeres are protective caps on the ends of chromosomes, and they play an important role in maintaining the health of cells. Telomere shortening is a hallmark of aging, and researchers are exploring ways to extend telomeres to slow down or even reverse the aging process. Finally, researchers are also exploring the potential of anti-aging compounds such as rapamycin and metformin. These drugs have been shown to have anti-aging effects in animal studies, and researchers are now exploring how they can be used to slow down the aging process in humans. The field of anti-aging research is rapidly evolving, and there are many promising breakthroughs on the horizon. By understanding the factors that contribute to aging and exploring new technologies and treatments, we may be able to slow down or even reverse the aging process in the years to come. However, it is important to note that much of the research on anti-aging is still in its early stages, and many of these technologies and treatments are not yet widely available or fully understood. There are also ethical concerns surrounding some of these treatments, particularly those involving gene editing. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of anti-aging research are enormous. By slowing down or reversing the aging process, we could reduce the burden of age-related diseases and improve overall health and quality of life in older adults. We could also potentially extend lifespan, allowing people to enjoy more years of good health and productivity. In addition to the potential benefits for individuals, anti-aging research could also have significant societal benefits. By reducing the burden of age-related diseases and increasing lifespan, we could potentially reduce healthcare costs and increase productivity in the workforce. Conclusion In conclusion, the science of aging is a fascinating field with many exciting developments. While we can't stop the aging process altogether, we can slow it down and improve our quality of life as we age. By staying up to date on the latest research, we can make informed decisions about our health and well-being. Thank you for watching our video on the science of aging and the latest breakthroughs in anti-aging research. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.